hello friends welcome to our channel and in this video we will discuss about the use of xlookup function or how we can get the benefit of xlookup function by inserting the simple data we have the certain data and we simply need to insert the employee id and we will get the remaining data of the employee and if i again select the employee id 1013 so you can see here i got the remaining data of the employee with the correct information this is how we will learn in this video how we can use the xlookup function and how the xlookup function gives us the result by using the simple three instructions but before that you are requested to please like comment and share our video so let's start our example we have the certain data on which we need to implement the xlookup function in the data we have the employee id column we have the employee name column the third one is the department column the hiring date and the last one is the sample salary and we have the same data here what we need to do we need to implement the xlookup function and by using the xlookup function we simply need to insert the employee id and it will give the remaining data of the employee so how we can do it we simply need to first go here in the employee cell and use here the x lookup bracket open after opening the bracket we need to fulfill the certain instructions the first one is the search key or the lookup value so we select the employee id comma it says the lookup range so we simply need to select the employee id column from which it will select or from which it will look up the employee id comma the third one and the last instruction is the result range our result is the employee name and the employee name is in the second column so we select the whole second column and close the bracket and enter now what we need to do we simply need to drag the whole formula to the right and the whole formula will be implemented automatically now if i test the function so you can see here 1001 and enter so you can see here we got the data of the employee john but there is certain issue like if i go here in the last employee 1013 one zero one three. It gives me the correct name of the employee and it gives me the correct department of the employee. But if I check the hiring date and the sample salary, then it is not correct. If I again select another value like one zero one zero, one zero one zero. So you can see here it gives the correct employee name, but it gives the incorrect hiring date and the sample salary and the issue is related to the referencing of the cells so how we can reference the cells correctly again we go here in the cell and use x lookup function bracket open first we select the employee id comma then lookup range we again need the employee id i select the employee id range comma the last one we need the employee result or the result range and the result range is the employee cell and the employee cell or the employee column we have selected then close the bracket but before the closing bracket or after closing the bracket we need to make the certain referencing constant like our employee id is constant so we select the whole employee id column and press f4 then our employee id column is constant so i again select the employee id column referencing and press f4 to make it constant and then i enter here now we simply need to drag the formula to the right word and then we get the correct data if i test our function like 1001 so you can see here the chart and the sample salary is correct now if i test over 1013 so you can see here employee name 
employ department hiring date and the sample salary is correct if i again test 1007 so you can see here we got the same data this is how we can use the xlookup function we simply need to give the three instructions the first one is the employee id then second one is the employee id column and the third one is the data or the column in which we need the data but before that we need to make the two columns constant the first one is the employee id or the lookup column and the column in which the lookup value is available we need to make the both columns constant and need to drag it down so it automatically gives us the data this is how we have used the xlookup function if you face any confusion while using the formula or the example please write in our comment section